know, the desert so uh, so so live. It has so much to, to offer for all of us. Amy Spotted Wolf is the current Miss Indian Arizona and has a true appreciation for the desert. The Thana Autumn, it, it means the desert people. For centuries, the Tahona Autumn have called the Sonoran Desert home. One of their villages was built in the shadow of a mountain. Shanagum, which is the black base. Uh, the bottom of the base is black, and um, that's that's what we that's what we call them. That's what the autumn named this mountain. The name of that village at the base of a mountain was named Shukshan, uh, which same thing. Shuk the <laughs> Shukshan black base. Of course, Shukshan eventually morphed into Tucson. Amy says her ancestors would take refuge on a mountain when enemies approached because of the 360 degree view. The warriors, they would stand up on top and they would watch out and make sure that their families are protected um, and all of the food, everything that we had harvested uh, was protected. The autumn used it for their sentinels. Centuries later, it earned the name Sentinel Peak as soldiers used it as a lookout during the Civil War. According to Tucson historian David Layton, it was also referred to as Picket Post Butte with an old stone fort. Now the only arranged stones you'll find on top of Sentinel Peak make up the giant letter A. Legend has it that in 1914, a University of Arizona football player named Albert Condon suggested to his civil engineering class that they should build a giant A on the mountain. It took two years, a team of six horses, plenty of backbreaking work, and $397 to construct the A. It's 70 feet wide at the bottom, 160 feet tall, and five feet thick. The name A Mountain stuck, and so have the traditions like starting homecoming week with the lighting of the A. And the annual A Mountain fireworks display. Amy Spotted Wolf has a unique perspective on the mountain. She's also a U of A student with an appreciation for that giant A. It's something that Tucson's kind of known for, yeah. like the thing that you you would go through Tucson and you're like, there's a big A on the mountain, <laughs> like, then that's cool. So um, I'm really I'm really proud to be here from Tucson. I'm really proud to be Don Autum, and I'm really proud to be a U of A student as well. Amy says she's happy so many people now enjoy the scenic beauty of Sentinel Peak Park and hopes that it will continue to be enjoyed for generations to come. We all have a really big love for this land, a love for this mountain and, and everything. So, you know, treat it with respect. Treat it with the same respect as you would treat your brother, your sister, your mom, or your dad. Thank you very much for teaching me so much about a mountain. I can tell you're very <laughs> proud of a mountain and of the land, and I appreciate your time. A mountain is absolutely Arizona. Thank you very much. Thank you.